Fingerprint gestures, they are all the rage. Swipe left for one thing, swipe right for another, long press for this, tap for that, double tap for... But what do they do on the Moto G5? That's what this video is all about. Before I jump into it, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe, it's how you'll stay on top of everything that we do. And if you haven't already checked it out, we just posted our unboxing video of this phone. You can see we're literally just setting it up, got all of the applications installing in the background right here. And I thought before I jump into anything more in depth, I would be share my first big issue I had with this phone. I say issue, it's not really an issue at all. I was just confused. Confused as to how to switch on the navigation fingerprint control. Why? Because my first instinct was to jump into the settings and look for navigation controls or fingerprint scanner functionality or something, but it isn't there. Oh no, the answer is blindingly obvious, staring me in the face. It is the Moto application on the home screen. Here, tap through on actions. Then you've got at the very top, one button navigation. I can switch it off and then that brings back my notification bar and I can switch it on to make it disappear. Now, as far as what they actually do, I'm gonna show you. You can long press to switch the screen off. You can long press again, switch it back on. You can very long press for Google Now, now on tap and long press, I just turn the screen off. And then you can swipe left for back. So open up the camera, swipe left to go back. Open up the camera, swipe right to go multitasking. And if I just wanna go home, I just tap through on the fingerprint scanner. So all of the functionality that you would get from your navigation buttons are right there. And of course, being Android 7, you can now have split screen multitasking for apps that support it, none of which I have open clearly. But hopefully that gives you a better idea as to exactly how you can activate it and what it does. Does it save time? Well, it saves screen. So more of your screens available to show off the beautiful stock Android 7 UI under the hood of your Moto G5 or G5 Plus. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. If you like the channel, subscribe. And like I said, check out the last video I posted, or not the last one, but the one before the last one, to see how you could be in with a chance of winning a Huawei P10 for yourself. Thanks for watching, be taped.